the pain and slaughter of so many people in the Middle East, Ukraine, Sudan, Myanmar, and Haiti, and so many other places around the world are unbearable. And when we discuss in the coming weeks, country by country, we must remember their faces and their anguish. At a time of such atrocious violations, is it naive to demand that all states uphold their human rights commitments? Or is it crucial, the most important, the most consequential, the most urgent task that any of us could possibly undertake? Today, I'm pleased to launch human rights, a path for solutions, which is the distillation of this hard work that has gone into the commemoration year in the hope that it will inform the summit of the future. This path for solutions sets out eight key messages to guide renewed action for peace, economies that work for people and planet, effective governance, and guardrails for digital and scientific progress. It broadens the way we think about human rights in ways that can transform our societies and our global community. First, negotiations on treaties on pandemic prevention and on cybercrime, as well as on plastic pollution and global discussions about the regulation of artificial intelligence all these talks are currently underway, but they are not sufficiently taking into account human rights obligations and the human rights harms that could be done. The UN has become a lightning rod for manipulative propaganda and a scapegoat for policy failures. This is profoundly destructive of the common good and it callously betrays the many people whose lives rely on it. The UN and states have the primary responsibility to protect and promote human rights. To support states in meeting their obligations, I'm launching a system-wide United Nations Agenda for Protection together with High Commissioner for Human Rights. Under the agenda, the United Nations, across the full spectrum of our work, we will act as one to prevent human rights violations and to identify and respond to them when they take place. That is the protection pledge of all United Nations bodies to do their utmost to protect people. 